Hello and welcome to my follow-up of the Hackintosh video. For those that saw the video, you're gonna get a little bit more background information on how I'm feeling about this a couple months into owning it. And for those that haven't, go check the card, watch the video. I'm just gonna preface this, this video and that video are not meant to be, nor are they, comprehensive step-by-step -step guides as to how I built it, what parts I chose, why I chose those parts, how to put in the right texts, all of that. That's not what these videos are designed to do. I am going to be building a few Hackintoshes for my company moving forward in the next few months. And during that time, I'm going to be filming a comprehensive why we chose these parts, how to install it, how to install Mac OS properly, and the whole nine. So stay tuned for that. But for this purpose, this is just a short, how is it after three months or so sort of video. And I'm simply blown away by, by how much it's done for me. As you can see, this is a pretty thick Premiere timeline. All of the clips are 4K or 1080, 120, and it has zero issues with adjustment layers, effects, everything. I've been asked a lot about export times, and I've been able to export a three layer, one hour long podcast with color adjustments, effects, intro, outro, the whole nine in about 25 minutes. And that's just mind boggling to me. It works beautifully, it never chugs, even at full, I've never set it off of full resolution. And there's just so many benefits to having this. The iCloud works, the iMessage works, the AirDrop works, everything that you want to use a Mac for works. And I think that's really where this is a strong suit. And as you can see, I, I did dump a little money into a nice monitor, but having this nice ultra wide monitor, having this wide premiere timeline, it's just an amazing combination. And it's it's awesome because I built it and it's it's my own desire. I've got the Logitech craft set here going with the MK Master Mouse or MX Master Mouse. I might have, it's one of those two, I swear. But it, it just works for me perfectly and I just wouldn't have done it any other way. I've been asked like, what would I do differently? I would have done a little bit more research on like which specific texts to install. I kind of went a little text crazy, if you will. And because I installed so many, I had issues with the ones that I needed and I kind of had to wipe it after a few days, but once I found the specific ones, which I'll get into in that future video, it works like a charm. And truthfully, for $1,400, monitor included, this is just an amazing setup, and all of the parts for this are going to be down in the description, so please check out everything that I have. Be sure to, if you have any questions on it, ask me, I'd be happy to help. Um, but this is exactly what I built it for and exactly what I want it to be. It's about 60% of the cost of an iMac of less ability, if you will. We have another co-founder of our company that bought a $2,200 iMac 27 inch and this thing absolutely obliterates it at 60% of the cost. And even if he would have then upgraded it to be comparable to this, it would be even more of a landslide victory for the Hackintosh route. All of the updates work with the OS, the apps, everything. There's just, I haven't had any problems with it. And not to say that I expected some, but I've completely forgotten that this is a Hackintosh, truthfully. I just use it like a Mac, it operates like a Mac, I never have to worry about it not functioning like a Mac, and all of the things that I love about Mac work, and that's what's awesome about a solution like this. So let me know what specifically you wanna hear in that comprehensive build guide in the comments below. I will gladly go through all of that when I do build those Hackintoshes for the company. I just wanna make this follow up because it's been a while, I've been tinkering with just where I guess the Hackintosh is. It was over on the other side of the room before, but I like the standing desk solution. It allows me to just get into a very deep edit like this one here and just really have a lot of fun doing stuff like this. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful and just kind of encouraging to those that maybe are on the fence about whether to go Hackintosh or not. I think it's a really cool solution, especially if you love tinkering and building computers like I do and figuring out what works and finding solutions to computer setups that are best fit for you. I think that's just what I love most about this Hackintosh. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps. Again, let me know any questions, comments, thoughts you have in the comments below. Uh, all the part lists, like I said, will be in the description of this video. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet.